Hello and welcome here to another edition of our D3 Week Interviews. I'm Luke Stantic and here with me today is men's basketball player Vignesh Rajagopal. Vignesh, thanks for coming on. Not at all. Thank you for having me. So uh, how does semester go on so far for you? It's your, uh, your final year here, your senior year. I know we're getting to the end, so how are things going for you? It's going pretty well. Um, spring semester of my last year, like you said, so the coursework is a little rough, but... It's mostly projects, not as many exams, so that's mm -hmm. kind of a relief from previous semesters, but it's going decent so far. Now, the team had an amazing year this year. You're one of the three guys on the team that were here uh, four years ago when the team didn't win any games. Mm -hmm. So you've been a part of a team that's gone from zero wins to 22. Mm -hmm. So aside from more talent coming in, what is what are some of the big reasons why the team has been able to, to grow the way it has and have this much success? I think probably the biggest thing is that Anyone that's associated with our program, from the head coach, the assistant coaches, to every single player, um, the most important characteristic we all have in common is that we love working hard for basketball. And I think that's a really important mm -hmm. trait, and I think that's what brought us this far because, I mean, we would have early morning practices, and, you know, the coaches would always show up, always be there earlier than the players needed to be. Um, the players would show up early. They would stay afterwards, get shots mm -hmm. up. So I think hard work is kind of like the theme, and I think that's something that, like, would characterize our program moving forward, too, because – We've shown that, like, we're a team that no matter how much you kick us or step on us, you know, we're going to come back and we're going to have a great season. Like, we didn't give up when we had zero wins. We didn't give up when we had two wins. Even when we had four wins, we were, still, we were still fighting. And now we finally got to 22 wins, and that's just a great accomplishment. And it's a testimony to all our hard work. So uh, just from watching, you could tell that you've really grown into one of the leaders on the team, and it's been that way for a while. So, um, you know, as a captain, what do you take a lot of pride in having that leadership role? And what kind of examples do you try and set for the younger players? I do. I do take a lot of pride in it. Um, if you ask Coach Kelly, he might say that I take a little too much pride in it. Uh, <laughs> I always show up here really early, and it's kind of, I don't know what it is, but there's something within me where I'm really afraid of being late to practice. I mean, I, if I was late, I'd have to run a lot of suicides and all that, but <laughs> apart from that, it was like a deep psychological fear. Sometimes I'd wake up at 3 a.m. for morning practice and just not be able to fall back <laughs> asleep. Um, and I think a big part of that is, especially these last two years, I've been playing less and less. I want to show these younger guys um, that, you know, even if you're not playing as much minutes, like the, m the work you put in is is important. And I think by holding myself accountable to that higher degree, I can be harder on them and I can yell at them. And I have, I feel like I have the right to do that since I'm showing up early and I'm putting mm -hmm. all the work in. I can expect the same out of them regardless of whether or not they're getting minutes. You know. So you uh, you're a very well traveled person. You rose from India, went to high school in Mexico, mm -hmm. and you end up here in Chicago. So yeah. how did you find out about Illinois Tech and what kind of sold you on the school? Actually, my college search was kind of crazy. I was applying all over the place. Um, but I had remembered at the end of my junior year of high school, we have some family friends out in Naperville. And so we visited Chicago, and they gave us a whole tour. And I, I just loved the city. Granted, that was in the summer, so <laughs> it might have been a little biased. <laughs> but I decided I like, wanted to come to Chicago. And Illinois Tech was a great tech school that my counselor back in high school recommended to me. Um, I always knew I wanted to go into engineering. I just didn't know what kind. And Illinois Tech gave me the option of coming in as undecided engineering and weighing my choices my freshman year mm -hmm. and then deciding my sophomore year. So that's what I ended up doing. So you ended up uh, choosing a co-terminal in electrical engineering. Yeah. You also have a minor in entrepreneurship. Mm -hmm. So what kind of inspired you to choose those things and what kind of jobs you're looking for uh, after college? What kind of would be your dream job? Um, so even though I've been always into like technical and like math and engineering, that kind of stuff, I, I always had this like little creativity. So like I would always try to come up with these new products or, like think of new ways of doing mm -hmm. things and I think that's like why I decided to go with entrepreneurship just to pick up those necessary skills like if I wanted to you know start a company in the future mm -hmm. or develop a new product um, and that's kind of what I'm hoping to do r whether it's on, with my own company or with the bigger company um, kind of new product development research that kind of stuff just developing new things and thinking of new ways I can help the world using electrical engineering. So you've, I mean, I could talk here for 20 minutes about all the things that you've done off the court here and all the projects you've done and all the, the tutoring and the service mm -hmm. and all kinds of things. Um, all that turned into the award you won last year, which was Student Athlete of the Year from USCAA. So talk about how great of an honor that was for you and how happy you were to receive that. That was an incredibly huge deal, and it was completely unexpected. Um, you had asked me, um, you had written my recommendation a few mm -hmm. weeks earlier, and I completely forgotten about that, so it was totally unexpected. I saw the email from our athletic director, Joe Hakes, the previous night, and just it was an emotionless email. just said, come to my office tomorrow. I need to talk to you. And so I got really scared. I was <laughs> like, what did I do? I was thinking back to all the things I might have done wrong. Um, but, yeah, he came in, and he told me that I'd won the award, and I was really surprised and taken aback. But I think it just goes to show that, you know, the program was on the right track. And, like, going there and seeing all those teams playing, it, like, made me really upset and just made me wish I was there with my team. 
um, instead of just with um, one teammate. Um, and I think that was like a big motivational factor in the off season where I kept telling the guys like, you know, that could be us next year. It's a very, very real possibility. So let's keep pushing towards that goal. Let's have that um, bigger team end goal mm -hmm. in mind. And then look what happened. There you were. Yep. Uh, what do you think is the best part about being a Division three athlete? Um, the biggest thing is that I got to play four years of my favorite sport, which I love. And at the same time, I received like a world class education. Which means that you know not only am I set for the future with a great with a great degree, but I've also like learned the leadership skills, the teamwork skills that comes with any team sport. And this last question, I'm sure you've done this a lot the last two years, which with your own teammates. Mm -hmm. So you should probably know this by now. But what advice would you give to incoming freshmen? Probably the biggest thing I would say is just be passionate, regardless of what it is in life about um, your sport, your major you know, maintaining your social relationships, just be passionate and everything and put like 100% effort into it because, you know, it feels like yesterday that I was here scrimmaging before my freshman mm -hmm. year and now it's, it's all over and all I can do is reminisce about it. So just be passionate and give 100% to everything you got. All right. Thanks, Vignesh. No worries. Thank you for having me. Thank you for watching. This has been another edition of our D3 Week Interviews. I'm Luke Sanzik here with Vignesh Rajagopal.